Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, what is it, Thursday? Thursday, June 28th. This is for all signs. This is the energy I'm picking up on today. Please note that this reading may not be for you. Okay, it may not be. Well, that's a pretty good message right there. Somebody's not happy. Okay, well, nine of cups reversed. Yeah, there's a lack of happiness. Ego could be an issue. Pride may be an ego. Uh, there's a lack of wish fulfillment in something. Oh, somebody is clinging to the past. We have the six of cups reversed. I'm not happy how this turned out. Oh, oh, well, okay. We have the sun reversed with the nine of cups reversed. Absolutely not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not, not happy about a situation that I've been connected to for quite some time. The memories will not leave. The memories are haunting me. They're haunting me. And, you know, I just, I'm reluctant to let it go for some reason. Reluctant to let it go. Somebody really needs to get creative, find their confidence, find their self-respect. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Leo twice. We have Libra. Oh my gosh, the five cards that I needed just fell out. Beautiful. <laughs> Love it when that happens. Don't you? I mean, it's, it's, it's just uh, confirmation that we're on the right track. When the exact amount of cards fall out, I mean, it's just a clear sign. Okay. It feels as though somebody is really pessimistic, really pessimistic about stepping out of the past, stepping out of whatever they've been clinging to. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really unsure if this is the right thing to do. But in that situation, whatever it is that you're clinging to, whatever memories that are haunting you, they, they definitely aren't, aren't. There's no wish fulfillment here in the future for you clinging to it, whatever it is. It doesn't lead to happiness, and it's making you unhappy now. So if you're unhappy now, you're not manifesting a new beginning because your thoughts become things. I mean, I'm just saying, okay, this Page of Cups is somebody that is emotionally unavailable. There, there's, there's no love coming in to this situation, whatever it is, that you are reluctant to move on from. There's there's no new offers coming in in, in this karmic situation i mean it is karma with the justice card you're involved in a karmic situation in which your pride has been hurt your ego has been hurt you're still hanging on to it because there has been rejections reluctant to to make it final reluctant to step out of this situation pessimistic about your own thoughts pessimistic about your own future it's like you're not even seeing that you have a new opportunity not being open to a new opportunity for somebody Somebody is, is still clinging to the past. The memories are just on the surface. Really, really, really on the surface. And, the, and you need to release it. You need to release it so that you can 
bring balance and harmony back to your life. Something needs to end. There is an, an ending here that needs to happen. It must. It must happen so that you can be happy again, so that you can bring happiness to your life. Whatever it is that you are hanging on to, and the Six of Cups reversed is somebody clinging to the memories of the past, clinging to the past where there is no, there's no future, okay? With the Page of Wands reversed, the Page of Cups reversed, there is no future here. There isn't. And it needs to end. It does. It needs to be released. There is absolutely a transformation that is transpiring that is begging you to, to allow it. But your own sadness and your own negative thoughts and your own pride of rejection is getting in the way. This thing has been weighing you down for quite some time. The, the justice card is, is, a, is a heaviness, a heavy weight in regarding a decision. You know you have to make a decision to bring balance back to your life. You know that you do. Balance, harmony, and peace. And you also, you also have to act with integrity. You know, you have to do the right thing, even if it hurts. You have to accept the truth, even if it hurts. I see that there's a level of confusion and indecision about this past, whatever it is. But there's also there's also no new offer of love in this situation either. So you do have to get creative. You do have to find your courage. And you have to have your strength. You have to find that strength to end it and have a new beginning. Because with death brings resurrection or renewal or rebirth. There's been some sort of healing that is going on within you, which you are not allowing. You're not allowing it to, to progress at the speed that it wants to progress. You know, I keep seeing this rainbow. You don't know why. There is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. After the rain and the sun comes back out, everything is more beautiful than it was before. It always is. It's been fed. It's been nourished. It's... It's it's but it's greener, it's fresher. You know, and after the rain, you know, you know, sometimes it doesn't rain for days. Days and days and days. And things start to die. They start to die. And then it rains and they come back to life. But during that rain, it's gloomy. So you do have to go through that period of gloominess to get to your full potential. There is some sort of renewal that is happening right now. There is. These are both renewal cards. They are. That is going to restore balance and harmony to your life. 
but you need to allow it and you need to go with it and you need to not fight it and you need to you need to make the decision to make this situation that is unhappy in your life final. It's final. Think about justice. You think about the courtroom. When they make their judgment, you know, in the justice system, it is final. It's time to make something final that you are clinging to from your past that doesn't offer any new new path. It doesn't offer a new path. It doesn't offer a new emotional connection at all. There's no growth down that path from the past. Somebody isn't acting on their hunches. They're not following their intuition. Truly. It's funny. I was talking about judgment over here. And here we get the judgment card reversed. There's no more chances here. Those chances are done. It's over. There's no more growth from the past. There's no more fertility. And I know that there's fear of change, fear of the unknown. But staying where you're at now will only continue to bring you sadness. You have to take a step forward. You're going through some sort of transition. At least the universe is trying to push you, you know, down this new path. They're trying to get you to end this cycle and evolve as you're supposed to. But the fear of the unknown is holding you back. And the Queen of Wands is about strength, courage, confidence, and finding that force within you. To take the steps needed for you to succeed in life. She's very, very successful. To be successful, you have to get creative. You have to allow growth and not fight it. Somebody has been doubting with the judgment card reverse, Doubting their decisions. But I'm here to tell you this past karmic. Okay, this past karmic situation has no more growth. It's no longer fertile. It's been weighing you down for too long. And it's time to regain the balance and harmony in your life. It absolutely is. You have to make a decision. To bring happiness back. So I feel like today is a day of realizing. This is a karmic situation. This is karma and this is karma. Okay. It's time to accept the truth. This is a card of integrity. It is time to accept the truth. There's no more growth here connected to the past. There isn't. And you need to step out of this spot of self-loathing and reluctance. And wake up. The judgment card is an awakening. It's reversed. I refuse to wake up. I refuse. For somebody. Now I know the majority of you are waking up that are watching these readings. I know. But some of you still have that smidgen left that you're clinging to. It's a smidgen of the past. That last smidgen needs to be washed away with the rain. 
Because in the other side, there is a rainbow waiting. And what's at the end of the rainbow? The gold. You need to find your courage and your confidence and your strength to let something die so something new can begin. You're not the same person. You've evolved. You've changed. Fighting the evolvement that's been going on within you is only bringing sadness, depression, and negativity into your life. Face these fears of the unknown and go down that new path. who this is for but it's for somebody three cards should I take them all or should I just take one softly softly the tender touch This is about being tender. <laughs> Defend to the end the worthwhile. And that's what you've been doing, right? I mean, that makes complete sense. You've been defending this situation from the path, past because of your fear, fear of the unknown, New birth, guarded vigilantly. There is a new birth here. There is waiting for you. You have to let go of the last pieces of this past. That's what today is about. It's about letting go of the last pieces of the past. You're going through a rebirth and, and being asked to allow this transformation to happen. Stop fighting it, please, please. So anyway, that's what I have for today. There's an opportunity for... The last remnants, I think it's the last remnants of the past to be washed away. But you have to allow it. It's all in your hands, right? It is in your hands. You have to allow it. As of right now, there's a lack of happiness with the Nine of Cups reverse and the Sun card reverse. Somebody isn't happy because they're not getting what they want from the past. And they're not getting what they they want from the past because it's it's over, it's done. And it's time to take back your life, like the Queen of Wands. She's a leader. New birth. You know, I think I'll read that one. I'm not going to read them all, but I'll read that one for you because that's the one I'm called to the most. In every creative process, in every birth, in every opening of a new cycle of life, there is a time of vulnerability. This vulnerability is natural and appropriate. It is the foal learning to become steady on its legs. Those legs will become remarkably powerful in time. 
but the process of growth and maturity has to take place and that requires some wobbly first attempts. It cannot be any other way. Within you, perhaps even below the level of your consciousness awareness, there is a fresh new life emerging like a vibrant green shoot rising up from the earth. It's funny, I was talking about the grass being greener. That's crazy. This new life is in need of your attention and care. This could be a new relationship that needs tending with interest and kindness. It can be a new idea that you need to nurture into fullness because it, it, because it is going to hold special purpose for you in your life. It might be something within you, a new behavior, a new way of looking at yourself, or a new way of a being in the world that you need to tend to until it becomes more natural for you to embody. This is most significantly so if you have also drawn the oracle card, defend to the end. Oh my God, the worthwhile. Holy shit. If you feel drawn to do so, you may read the guidance for that card now. Well, I guess it's telling me to read that card, so we'll read that one next. Drawing either or both of these cards alerts you to the fact that the idea you are currently nurturing, or soon will, is of great importance to your life path. Pay appropriate respect to the messages of those cards and you will reap great spiritual benefit and emotional well-being. This oracle also brings particular guidance about keeping your inner sanctuary pure. This may be your room, a sacred place you visit, or your own body, into which you retreat in the relaxation or meditation. Sometimes you will find that others have taken up residence, residence in your sanctuary. Perhaps an argument that you cannot let go of, or a past, yeah, we're talking, <laughs> or another living in your head. A suffering that has not been acknowledged and released can feel like a big old dirty suitcase of emotional baggage cluttering up the temple space of your heart. It is time to focus on the purity, light, love, and compassion that dwells within you. Everything else will come and go, and that is just fine. But the purity within your sanctuary is eternal. You can come back to it to refresh your spirit and gain resources to help you deal with the rest of the world, even your own darker moments anew. It will give you the peace and spaciousness of mind you need to recognize this new, new life and to compassionately <clears throat> but firmly denounce any intrusion upon that new life by doubt, fear, or sabotage. And it's true. It's true because you got, I see the fear, fear of the unknown. You have a new beginning waiting for you, but you're so scared of it. We have to read this card because it told me to. Defend to the end. Beneath the illusions, pretty as they may seem, you know what is real. Beneath the lies, sweet though they may sound, you know what is worthwhile. All that, all that is generously and truly essential for your heart to throb with life is worthwhile. Anything that dulls it or suffocates its vibrant aliveness must be questioned, challenged, and more than likely cast aside. For the heart is our key to living an authentic life. What is there once that is compromised without its foundation of truth? We are to be forever lost in confusion, doubt, and despair. Oh my God. This oracle has special guidance for you. You are being asked to stay strong and stand your ground. This, may, this might be an emotional, a big emotional journey that feels like the fight of your life. It may be in a matter that does not seem to hold much importance. Perhaps, for example, you are contemplating an idea that you feel could be something, but those around you declare it is nothing much, too impractical, too little, or too much. 
However, what is happening or soon will be happening is worthwhile, so hold tight. Ask for help through the healing process below. Stay true to the sacred warrior of love that you are and defend to the end all that is worthwhile. <clears throat> <laughs> I gotta read a little bit more. This oracle brings guidance to honor even the smallest steps in your path of the sacred warrior. They are no less important than the more noticeable or dramatic actions on the path. One single misstep can begin a landslide of great devastation. Being vigilant with what is meaningful and what is truthful, even in the smallest and seemingly most insignificant ways, Strengthen, strengthens the sacred warrior and prevents darkness from gaining a stronghold from the inside. That darkness will be intelligent and sneaky. It will tell you that it doesn't matter. That this one time you can forget what you promised and that you are just one person and that you can't make a difference anyway. That darkness will lure you into a sleepy ambivalence and dull your light if you allow it to. You have to defend yourself. You do. You have, a, you have a new opportunity waiting for you. And it's time for you to face these fears of the unknown. And let this last tie to the past be severed. And that's what I see. That's what I see for today. I'm not going to keep going. Talk to you later.